Guam's John Tuck is officially on the fight card for UFC Fight Night 87, taking on Germany's Nick Hein. Now, the main event of UFC Fight Night 87 pits Alistair Overeem against Pitbull Andre Arlovsky, with the fight taking place in Rotterdam, Netherlands. Uh, Tug left Island over the weekend to get some training in after spending time at his home gym of Spike 22. Well, I've been training on Island, helping everybody prepare for, for their, their upcoming events, whether it was amateur boxing, kickboxing, and then they, a lot of guys from the gym were getting ready for the Summit Tournament, the PXC as well. And I've uh, been helping Roki and a bunch of the other guys getting ready, Josh Alvarez. Uh, so at, for me, it was me getting in shape, getting into camp with them. And then I'm just going to fine tune things off island in California, Southern Cal, work with some high level coaching and and uh, just just stick with the guys that that, uh, that get me most comfortable and, and ready and, and precise for, their, for my fight. Tuck's fight takes place May 8th against Hein, 13-2 and in mixed martial arts, 3-1 and in the UFC with all of his wins coming by way of decision. Uh, Hein is a former German national judo champion and police officer. Tuck, of course, the former PXC fan favorite, is 9-2 and in MMA, 3-2 and in the UFC with two of those wins coming by way of submission. Tuck coming off a rear naked choke victory against Korea's Tai Hyun Bang and hopes to continue his winning ways against Hein. Of course, he's uh, the number one German guy right now. He's a European champion for judo, and uh, he knows uh, he's a he's a blue belt in jiu-jitsu, somewhat somewhat familiar with jiu-jitsu, and he was a former amateur boxer as well. So he's he's got a well-rounded game, but um, I don't see any anything that he could trouble me with or had that I haven't seen at least. Tuck feels he is always in fight shape or at least pretty damn near it and he looks to carry that confidence into the octagon come May 8th and continue his ascension in the UFC stacked lightweight division. Keep it here to catch up with Tuck on his training as we get closer to UFC Fight Night 87. Everybody knows my fighting style is is uh, kill or be killed and um, I, I'm always in shape to go three rounds. If I could, I'd go five rounds for the championship belt. But um, like I said, I'm, I'm I'm ready. I'm ready now. You know, if, if if they move the fight two weeks from now, I'm ready. You know, I've been in shape helping all all the boys from Guam, and just gonna fine tune things and and be precise come fight night. And it's gonna be exciting. Um, if I don't finish him with the uh, strikes, then I'll finish him with the uh, submission. This year's Payless Kick the Fat celebrated their 20th anniversary with over 2,000 runners coming out for Payless's signature event. Despite some light rain and a little traffic, runners filled the streets of our island's capital to show their support for the island's biggest 5K and now 10K too. Uh, Kick the Fat had many runners kicking back for the community fair after the race and fireworks to start the race, cheer squads and even drummers to keep the beat for runners at what has become Guam's biggest short distance run. Kick the fat results, Napu Castro was the first overall male finisher in the 5K with a time of 17 minutes, 11 seconds. Ryan Kent, second at 17.20. Isaac Ventura, third with a time of 18.07. The top overall female 5K'er was Mako Carey at 19 minutes, 45 seconds. Rhea Macaluso at 20.35 for second. And Stephanie Clark took third with a 20.48 time. Charlie Epperson, Ryan Matienzo, and Derek Mandel finished 1-2-3 in the 10K. Epperson at 33-55, Matienzo 34-41, and Mandel 35 minutes, 44 seconds. 10K female finishers, Manai Ijima, 39 minutes, 14 seconds. Yumika Sugahara, 42-28, and JQ Gustillo, 47-44. Special Olympics celebrates their 40th anniversary over the weekend at the Ukudu High School track, and it was a serving of good times all around with a little side of whip and nay nay too. <laughs> that is so cute. You get it, boy. Of course, nearly 100 teams in the annual parade of teams, which is always a sight to see. Now remember, the Special Olympics focus is on special athletes with intellectual disabilities and persons who may have physical disabilities competing in over 50 events ranging from softball to shot put to track and field. Over a thousand medals were awarded to winners and those who did not win had fun and were brave in the attempt, as the saying goes. Cheered on by island officials and over 1,000 volunteers 
from over 75 school, community, and business groups, including members of our very own KUAM News and radio teams. It was definitely a festive event for Special Olympics 40th anniversary, and to the Special Olympians, keep on shining, and congratulations. And here's a special message from the Bank of Guam's Special Olympics cheer squad. We got this, Guam! We got this, Guam!